Now let's get into classes. A class can also be referred to as an object, hence object oriented programming. There are more things like polymorphism and other things, but let's stick to classes for now. So classes are these objects, right? Which is a custom made object by you, or it doesn't have to be by you. But in this video, we're actually going to create our own class. So we know what classes are and how to use them. In the solution explorer, we want to head over to classes, add new item. And you can see the class right here. Let's give this a name. Now this class is going to be something very abstract. Let's say animal. Now if we compare the animal.cs to the program.cs, we see that they're, they're actually kind of close. They have the using statements, they have the namespace, and then the class, obviously. The only difference is that this one has a method. This would be the entry point of the application. But that's out of the scope of this tutorial. Let's focus on classes. Now let's start by creating a constructor. You can do so by typing CTOR and then tab tab and it's going to create the constructor. As you can see, it's super simple. It's just public, no return type, not even void. And then the name of the class. This is what's going to get called when we instantiate a new instance of the class. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense now, but don't worry, we'll get to it. Let's give this class a couple of fields. Fields would essentially be properties for the animal. Let's do this the good old fashioned way and give it some private properties. So private string uh, underscore name to keep the naming convention correct. And let's also create one for the age. So private int underscore age, lowercase age. <laughs> there we go. Now, so far, this class doesn't do a whole lot. If we were to create a new instance of it, nothing would really happen. And keep in mind, this gets run when we instantiate a new instance of it, aka when we use the new keyword. Don't worry, we'll get to it in just a sec. As for now, when we instantiate this, we want to be able to pass two parameters. We want to give it a string name and we also want to give it an int age. And again, I know I've said it two times already, but when we instantiate the object, we actually want to set these private fields here. So let's do underscore name equals name and underscore age equals age. Now let's head over to the program class and create a new animal. We can do so by typing animal, so the name of the class. Let's uh, So this defines what type of animal we want to make it. Let's make a dog. So I'm going to name the instance dog equals new. So this is where we instantiate a new instance of the class. So new animal parentheses, uh, because obviously we call the uh, the constructor implicitly. And if we hover over it, we can see that it takes two parameters, name and age. See, this is where it comes in. So let's pass it in. I'm going to give it the name of uh, Matthew. I don't know. Is that a good dog name? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And let's give it the age of, I don't know, five seems like a good number. Now, this is fully valid syntax and it doesn't do a whole lot, but let's put a breakpoint right under it and let's actually see what happened. So if we inspect the dog, we can see that the age property is now five and the name is Matthew. Cool. Now, let's take this one step further. Let's head back into the animal class, go underneath the constructor and create a function. We're going to make this a public function so we can access it outside the scope of this class. And let's make it print the name and the age. So public void print parentheses and curly brackets whoops curly whoops curly brackets <laughs> and from here on out it's just like the good old console right line and we actually want to pass in the name oops underscore name and the age now this will be kind of boring we'd only print out the age or the name on one line and then the age right after it so let's actually clean this up a bit let's use some string interpolation by putting the dollar sign quotation mark quotation mark let's actually zoom in a bit and there we go and let's type the animals name is and I'll put the curly brackets inside here because string interpolation underscore name and then we can just type and it's underscore age years old so now if we head back into the program.cs we can actually go underneath the dog type dog and then we can access the print function now because remember how we use, how we made it uh, public? If I were to make it private, head back in, it's not there anymore. Because we can't access it outside of the scope of this class. And we do want to access it outside of it. So public, void, control tab to tab over, print. Now let's try running this application. As you can see, it prints out the animal name. Or, well, the animal's name is Matthew and is five years old. Perfect. And that's essentially the bare bones of a class. Now, if you want me to go more in depth on how to create, I don't know, like a game class or something similar, like something more specific, then by all means, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one.